Chapter 948, Kawamatsu the Kappa's a real pushy boy. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Pod Cast, the only show that's a podcast. I am the best guy ever and this is Hypocrite. The Pod Casts, the only cast that pods your D. <laughs> it's chapter 948, ladies and germs, and we're talking about Kawamatsu the Kappa taking the stage. And how fun will that be? But first, yes, new this, cover story, lads. It's a new one. Ooh. It's been a while. And it, it has, looks like it has. Uh, a successful escape. I see Lola. I see, I think, Capone. Mm-hmm. Uh, not yep. Lola. Uh, is that it That big Lola? guy with the gun arm? Oh, no, yeah, it's uh, Chiffon. Her name is Chiffon. Chiffon, Chiffon mm-hmm. and and uh, it's it's the Al uh, Pacino arc. <laughs> yeah, exa- exactly. What do they call? Oh, they're called the Fire Tank Pirates. The fire yes. Tank pirates. So this will be how they escaped. Um, you know, it might uh, yeah. include the Sun Pirates as well. I, I, I hope. I hope this is it, what, indeed, where we learn indeed. what happened. There is a lot that could go into this, and you know what? I mean, I know I'm, I'm dreaming a little big here. I, I have a dream that, like, as they're escaping. Uh, I don't know, one um, one brulee is on a little ship with a katakuri and maybe some other sympathetic people being like, take us with you. We don't want to live under Big Mom. We want to be free and be good boys. Now, I don't think that's going to happen, but ooh, if we see katakuri, I'll be a very happy boy. That would be capacity. very strange to have... Um Katakuri part of the fire tank pirates the next time. Uh, well, I, I'm not saying he would join them. I, I mean, just mean like, okay. you know, an opportunity to run or, so, or something. Uh, probably not going to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, there's, there, like, we haven't seen, we know, actually, th- thinking about it, so uh, we don't exactly know the timeline of exactly when this is, because obviously most of the big mom, big boys like, came to Wano when they're there right now. Do you think this is like a slight flashback to like, right I, when the Capone guys had escaped? I or is it think, like now? Um, I mean, since mm-hmm. the fact that the the moment after Luffy left, we don't know how yeah. everybody was doing. Mm-hmm. Um, I would assume that this is just as they... I mean, it says, Volume 1, a, su- a successful escape. So I assume they've yeah, just got out of, yeah. like, Big Mom's territory or something, and they're feeling mm-hmm. pretty good, but then probably something's going to go come up and, and bite them. And so gonna theoretically... Get them. Theoretically, any of the characters that we've seen on uh, Big Mom's ship, they could show up in this, potentially. Uh, it'd be kind of weird, and I don't think Oda would do that because it's going to be a little bit confusing to people if they're probably in both places. I think for, for a number of reasons, we'll probably avoid it. But when I think about characters who were not on that boat, you know, I actually do think, um, what's the, bu- F- F- Flampe? I think Flampe was on the ship, if I remember correctly. But Katakuri definitely was not. Yes. And that just stands out to me as like... Katakuri I mean, Katakuri was like the pudding. most important character. And um, Pudding were not on the boat. Yeah, so I mean... Oh yeah, Pudding, pudding too. That's the person I was forgetting. Um, oh, could be, could be interesting. Again, I don't know if we'll actually see them run away. But uh, potential for interesting things. I'm very excited for this I cover. mean, it, it makes the most sense if there was mm-hmm. a ship... For, like to, to for them these guys to come across would be Katakuri mm-hmm. and Pudding, because yeah. Pudding is friends with Chiffon, uh, mm-hmm. and Katakuri is like, you know, cool. Like, Everybody think, loves him. Well, no, Katakuri wouldn't attack them because he's oh, okay. just sort of like, sort of let Luffy go in a way, and he's like yeah, kind yeah. of on his side. So if you're allies with Luffy, then that's fine by me, and you know that they mm-hmm. wouldn't fight each other. So it could be a little like. A little uh, explanation as to who is going where, and maybe nothing big will happen. Indeed, indeed. Uh, I, man, I really hope we see him. Uh, in case you haven't seen my video on best guy ever, I made a video. I think it's called the best One Piece character. It's just about Katakuri, who is the best One Piece character. I think he oh, was like the best One him. Piece villain in over a decade or something. Well, I, I made that then, like after the arc finished. I made it like a second oh, video right. about Katakuri. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, he's a good. I boy. love him. Dot com. Okay. He's <laughs> indeed. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll we'll see where that goes. Um, on to the chapter. Yeah, so here so... we are, Udon Prisoner Mine. Let's do it. So, Mugiwaro Mulufi is in mm. the prisoner mine, and he said, I'm going to beat you all up, and I'm going to take over this whole prison. And yep. he continues to test out his, uh, his hacky. He's um, mm-hmm. trying to recreate the, the special thing that he did to get the collar off or whatever it is. Yep, um, yep, yep. So he's going to use all of these uh, guards as training. 
and uh, that's that's what he's gonna do. He's smile. He's smiling mm -hmm. about it. He's got no problems because Queen is gone. Big Mom's gone. There's no real threats here. We've yep. seen him beat up some of the higher level guards already. So you know he's fine. <laughs> I'm not worried about him at all. Yes, this is totally fodder shit. We'll not have an issue. <laughs> uh, so uh, Okiku and Chopper are in there. I think everyone's in there now. Uh, Momo, Mono, Mono, Monosuke, and Otama also somewhere. You know, I, I think Otama and I like I think because they said before, like in last chapter, that like uh the the door's closing, but we have to wait here for Luffy. I think the idea that was being conveyed there was that they were waiting like outside, no, and no, that no. the door was closing. I, no, uh, it, no? It, it looked like w what was happening there is like mm -hmm. um, Momonosuke was saying, uh, maybe we should wait outside for Luffy, and Otama just dragged him in, and he was like, wait, no, no, and then the door closed. So they, uh, okay, if you say so. I, I think they're inside, but um, beca because because it doesn't really matter either way. Yeah. I mean, in, well, it does because uh, then they're in danger. Uh, like outside, yeah, what they're gonna do? They're just gonna stand outside. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. It seemed like that was the obvious setup. Frankly, either way, it doesn't seem like a particularly important detail. We'll see what happens with them later. Whatever. Um, so all of a sudden, our big uh, elephant man just says, "Hey, fellow prisoners, uh, do me a favor. Despite we abuse you regularly, uh, beat up Luffy and make him gay for you. Do do that, please." And they actually do it. The absolute madman. I mean, but yeah. They, they, well, but they why? do. They explain in in thought bubbles and yeah. uh, whisper, whisper bubbles uh, to indeed, Luffy, like, <laughs> "God, I, I wish I could help you, bro, but um, oh, uh, we have families to feed. I got a family to feed, and and mm -hmm. they're gonna be killed if I do anything against Kaido. I don't yes. want to get involved yes. in all this. Uh, you're an outsider. You can do what you like, but I gotta. I just gotta obey. I I have to be a kook, as they say. Indeed. And, and specifically, the fact that, like, oh, you were feeling a little bit hopeful there for a bit, but then we saw fucking uh, big, big hedgehog boy get murdered, Yasuye, and oh, the f the hope in our hearts has, has left us. Very sad times for all of us. That sucks. That sucks. Yeah, so uh, Luffy's just being manhandled by these gay boys, <laughs> uh, just th thinking about it. And uh, then uh, Scorpion Man shoots mm -hmm. just someone... Uh, just some random prisoner, in the yep. in the in the in, in him with a bullet, a special bullet, a plague <laughs> bullet, developed mm. by Queen, as we've learned out. So that that is why Queen is called the Plague. He is a mechanic. He is a inventor, and he makes poisonous yes. things. And, and I, as, I, as we I would assume, yeah, go on, go on. Mm -hmm. uh, he probably uh, developed the the gas that Jack used on Zo. I would assume. Would not be surprised. Now, now, just to, so so we're finally getting okay. This is the explanation, Queen. Likes to make weapons, likes to make poison, likes to make gas and stuff. Um, and th this particular bullet, like you, you infect someone. Anyone who touches them gets infected. Ooh, pretty uh, damn. That's like pretty, pretty spooky disease. Pretty crazy virus he got going on there. Um, so like, okay, got it. This is why plague uh, queen is like plague boy. I, uh, I'm still just kind of annoyed. Like, how is Jack a drought guy? He's he's called Jack the Drought. But, like, what specific thing does he do that's drought-y? Does he piss in the well when he goes to a town? <laughs> like, why why that specifically? You know, why, why isn't he called the tornado? Because he's like a tornado when he comes through. He destroys everything. Why play, or why drought specifically? This is my question, uh, and I well, want to know. He, if he pees in the well, you could still technically drink that. I think he shits in the well, and then <laughs> yeah, he get plug, He plugs it up with big mammoth shits. Uh, okay, I I'm just saying, One Piece, Oda, get back to me on this. I'd like more information. Yeah, it, it doesn't, like, what what was King called? The just... Inferno, and he is okay. on fire, so, So he's, okay. he's a flaming <laughs> Got man. It. Yep. Uh, Queen yep. makes plate. Uh, Jack, maybe people, maybe he's just real thirsty. He is like a, okay, so he's a mammoth, right? He has a trunk, and elephants are known to, like, suck up lots of water through their trunks and, like, hold it there and drink and shoot it at things sometimes, like Dumbo <laughs> or whatever. Is that, like does he just drink all the water? <laughs> yeah, is this maybe. the issue? I don't like, know. <laughs> if, so, if he goes to this like city that's got a river in it, he's like, aha! I know how to defeat these guys. He just sits <laughs> the riverbed like <laughs> for ages. I mean, it's just a very any... funny like thing to think. 
is it, like it his is. power. If there was any discussion about like how he's like water related specifically, I just want a little bit. Like maybe he just has a reputation. Like one time he shit in the well and he got it plugged. He's like, oh, he fucks up water supplies. I just need something as opposed to literally nothing, which is what we have right now. Um, Man, I mean, because really, he what? I really General hope destruction. Jack no. uh, retcon is strong. You know, like like uh, Azura yeah. Doji slicing him that one time. Y made yeah. him out to be a complete jobber. I hope this just means that Ashura Doji is really powerful. I mean, that's what we assume. That's, I mean, that's definitely what Oda was going for, I think. He was but, trying, like, yeah. look at this fat slob, but he's actually super duper strong. Like, okay, got it. That's all good. Yeah, and I but understand as that, I've been like, saying, if, if yeah. Ashura Doji is, like, one of the three most important people they need to have on their side, then, uh, yeah, yeah, fine. Cool. I mean, that's all cool, but, like, what we, what we lack is, like, Jack beating someone who we, like, know is strong. Like, we know that he, like, curb stomped the Minx, but, like, he didn't even do that, like, with his power specifically. He just, he smashed a couple of things with his trunk, but then he used, like, poison and, you know, used some blades. Like, we know he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with, um, Catman and Dogman, but, like, how, are those guys really that strong? I mean, sure, they travel with Gold Roger, but, like, we haven't seen them, like, again, there's a thing in Shonen where you need to know... Like, this isn't 100% accurate, but you need, like, X person beat Y person. So Y person, we have, like, a frame. Okay, they're stronger. And then Z person beat Y person. Oh, so they're even stronger. Well, we, we need things like that a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, true. I think in the, in the moment when Jack got sliced, mm -hmm. it was implied that he was just caught by surprise. And, and, and he, he wasn't battle. down for the count. He was still on his feet. So, yeah. like, yeah, if it, if if, it went if on. If we're thinking of, like, um, the mm -hmm. samurai are as powerful or, like, nearly as powerful as the three Kaido big boys. I forget their names. Headliners the or something. The Calamities. The Calamities. Calamities. Um, then do you think Kappa Boy could uh, defeat Queen? Is that the power level I mean, we're dealing with? I, I don't... Yeah, okay, like, let's just say that Ashura Doji and Jack had, like, a fight that went on for longer. I think we're in like late game one piece. Like remember the fight between uh, Luffy and Cracker that happened uh, at like the beginning of, relatively beginning of, of Whole Cake. Yeah. I think like that's the kind of fight we would see. Cause like Samurais are tough. It's like an endurance thing. Like when when um, when Ace fought Jinbei, they fought for like a week straight or something. I, I can't remember what it was, like 48 hours or something. I feel like it'd be like an endurance battle that like went on for a long time and Jack wouldn't go down after one hit. Like he, he's one of Jack's main three boys. I would assume for good reason. He's probably not a total fuck up in every capacity. I mean, look how big he is. Um, so I, I do I feel that like Asura Doji would even be able to beat Jack like over a long period of time. I don't think there's reason to necessarily assume that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but that's, it, it, that's does, what I it think. just doesn't feel yet that we, we like, like I've been Jack saying over and over. Up, we need moments. Yeah. We need real badass moments, like Queen headbutting uh, the Yas Queen, Big Mom. That was a good one. We need a bunch more shit like that to make them seem powerful, yeah. intimidating, and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, speaking of Kapa -pa 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 -pa, uh, yes, the boy is is free. Well, he's not free yet. He mm -hmm. he he laughs and stuff. Um, oh, people... well, he actually, we hear, we hear a voice, a mysterious voice saying, uh, Luffy, Luffy's being like, damn it, these guys, they're attacking me, the prisoners, because they have no hope. I wish, I wish I could tell them the truth that, like, you know, this, the time travel thing happened, there were samurai who were fighting to, you know, get rid of Orochi, and there's a plan, and I'll, I could, oh, I could give them hope and maybe change their minds and make them not fight against me, but damn it, I can't tell them the truth. But then we hear the ka pa 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 pa, -pa laughter coming from the cage. And that person says, tell them the truth, Straw Hat. Tell them that there is reason to believe, that there is hope for the future. And then, and yeah, then... so, uh, to reiterate, this is the cell. Yes. They say that it's been locked uh, for a million years. Thirteen years, 13. in fact. Yep, yep. Um, Lucky 13. And they say that they, they were ordered to feed him poisonous fish from the factory wastewaters to ensure that he would die a slow, painful death. Mm-hmm. Um... Uh, jump it ahead a bit. Why wouldn't they just stop feeding him? That would be a more efficient, like. I mean, it, <laughs> it was one of these. Probably like kind of like they assumed he'd never get out of there. They thought it'd be kind of sadistic. Like, lol, let's give him food, but like, lol, it's like poison food. Like, lol, he'll like die from that. Lol, after a while, lol. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, kind know. of a silly thing. Thirteen, but... thirteen years. They'd be like, shouldn't we just stop feeding him? Like, he's, he's clearly still like, going. 
You'd think that, like, at the very least, due to the incompetence and laziness of the Beast Pirates, they'd eventually be like, ah, fuck it, man, I don't want to go feed that guy today. But someone diligently, like, every day, went and got a poison fish, brought it to this guy to eat. That's kind of, like, nice. That's kind of, like, a nice thing to do. Uh, yeah. I know it's kind of fucked up, but they kept feeding him. Yeah, it's, Would have been it's easy just to stop though. feeding him. It, it, yeah. For 13 years! God 13 damn! 13 years, and, like, they say so that he would die a slow, painful death, as in, like, the, the point was that he would die eventually. He just never this did. This does... Yeah, this does strike me as a little bit convenient. Just a, just a little bit. It's, uh... It's like, oh... It's like Oda decided that, like, this person, you know, he was gonna be locked in the cell for a long time. They'd have this, like, funny scenario of, like, oh, they'll feed him fish that are poison, lol, and he'll slowly die from that. But, like, Oda, he needed him to survive to, like, get to this point. So, like, uh, yeah. They, they brought him fish every day. It was poison, but it didn't matter. Like, he's he's fine. He's fine. Uh, no, yeah, anyway. It, it looks, like, a little silly. This is one of those lighthearted things that I'm, like, nah, whatever. It's a little silly. I, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. I mean, it leads into a really cool thing that happens. It does. It does. And it makes so, him seem like a badass, so that's cool. Yeah, so his cuffs are still on. He's just sitting there, and everyone's mm -hmm. like, haha, we'll kill him. He can't uh, react. He can't attack us. Mm -hmm. Um... They jump in, swords are, swords are swinging, and then Rizo jumps. Wait, wait, uh, but before that... Oh, oh, no, sorry. Yes, Rizo jumps. Yep, true, true. He smashes out of the window. It was the ninja everybody knew about uh, who had been uh, stealing stuff. And then mm -hmm. Rizo throws... Uh, he throws a sword right into and, and the his thing. And his keys. With hey, his but keys. before that, though, I just want to say that I thought it was really cool... Like, if you're, if you're a guy who's been locked in a cell, you're obviously probably not 100% at the top of your game. If you've been in there for 13 years, literally chained the entire time. Like, ouch. Uh, that sucks. They break in here. I was thinking, this is like an actually terrifying moment. Three guys with swords come into your cell. You have nothing to defend yourself with, and you're chained up. And, like, they're going to murder you. Like, they st we're going to kill you now. I would be very, very scared. Uh, I'm spooked. I don't know what to do. Well, but mate, this guy's that's like laughing. why you're not a samurai. I, I know, I know. But even beyond him getting the sword thrown to him in a moment, using the actual fish bones, as we've seen him before, like he continues to fight off these guys who are currently here to murder him by using these fish bones and like stabbing them. And I'm just like, what a fucking badass. This is the kind of thing that makes me actually really dig a character like this. He's like not scared. He continues to fight with the weapons he has on hand, despite being chained and in here for so long. Like, sure, it's a little silly that he'd even be alive, but I'm just like, damn, I really fucking like this guy. He's really impressing me right now. What a badass. It's yeah, cool. I, I remember that earlier on, when Luffy mm -hmm. was first put in here, there was the whole thing about, like, make sure to take the bones out of the fish before you throw the fish in, and then want the yeah, one Yeah, but they didn't do it. They're they too forgot lazy. To do it. So I guess he kept all of those bones. Like, he only used a few of them. In that wall, maybe one. He might that. have had a couple. Yeah. But he, he kept a few behind so that he could do this exact thing, which is pretty That's great. That's smart. I didn't oh, realize that. Oh, I like this first. guy. Yeah. He's cool. He's real cool. So the sword swings into the room, got the key on it. Mm -hmm. He unclicks his clacks, and he, he's got his beloved blade, Soto Mushu. Musho. <laughs> Musho. Musho. And which apparently uh, is a sumo wrestling thing. This guy's a, he's a sumo boy. It seems. Yeah. He likes sumo. Uh, and then he just does a big old explosion. He does a big old sumo move. Everybody gets blasted out of the cage. And uh, <laughs> they they explain, or like uh, Okiku is talking about, the Kappa sword style, which seems a lot like Fishman Karate, but uh, like a watery sort of sword movement instead. <laughs> I guess. And uh, uh, Ryzo says, like, as always, the lighter one loses, which I assume is a reference to sumo. Yeah, that's yeah. That's all about being like the, yeah... I don't know how that works, but cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, I don't know um, if this is, like, too many things. Uh, I think mm -hmm. it's, it, it's, it's enough. It's enough, uh, but mm -hmm. it's also not too many. Uh, for being the best sumo ever and also a great samurai. Like, um, yeah. is, that, is that sumo, what this is? He the, was he stated to be, like, the best wrestle they say, boy? They say that on the next page or so. Okay, okay. I, I remember seeing that somewhere. But, like, he is, like, a really good sumo wrestler. He's a big, stocky, chunky lad. And we mm. get his reveal now. He's got a funny uh, frog beak face. <laughs> He's a kappa. And, and, and the little red rosy cheeks, which is really cute and funny. And the long Saiyan hair is really cool. Oh, I, I do like his hair a lot. And, you know, yeah, he looks great. So there he is, Kawamatsu, the Yokozuna. Kozuki family retainer. Badass. Badass dude. So um, he, can, he can shove people. He can slice people as well. 
there was some discussion about like, um, do you think this guy is like a human? At first I thought, he, at first, if he had just looked like this and didn't have webbed fingers, I would have been like, yeah, this guy might just be a weird looking human, the way we have in, in One Piece sometimes. Because he has webbed fingers, I'm like, okay, he's probably like actually a Kappa in some way. But that raises the question, is this perhaps, like are Kappas real? Or has he eaten some sort of devil uh, fruit to become a Kappa man or uh, something? What is a Kappa? Is it a... I, I've, I've heard... Uh, is it like a legendary sort of thing, or is it just an animal? Yes. It is a, it is, it's like the Tanuki, kind of, in Japanese yeah. mythology. It's not a real animal. Actually, I think Tanukis are literally real, but not the magic powers. That, whatever. He is a... He is a... They are a mythological Japanese creature that are like river spirits, and they're like ducks or something with shells on their okay. back and like bald heads or something. I would beaks, I would hazard a guess that because he's already two things, sumo and uh, samurai, I would mm -hmm. say that it's not a devil fruit and he may just be similar to a mink in some way. Uh, that's my guess. I think he's a, a real kappa. This is my guess, but uh, I guess it's unconfirmed at this present time. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, by the yes. way, though, y you know all my bitching uh, <laughs> throughout Wano of like, ah, the, it's all a bunch of swordsmen, like boring, like they're all the same. Um... Kawamatsu currently, with doing like the one or two attacks he's done, like even in One Piece and lots of shonen, sword attacks tend to be rather generic, and they, they still pretty much are. Like even Zoro's like slashes, mostly they're like various explosions or ah we blasted people away, and there's like a couple of blood sprays, but you may or may not even see a wound on the enemy, so it doesn't really follow like sword logic, and that continues to be the case here. I don't really care about that, um, but I Kawamatsu here has already obtained enough personality that I'm quite fond of him. So, like, this is one guy who is, like, past my issue of, like, generic swordsman stuff. Kawamatsu is cool. He's he's distinctive. I like his personality. He's resourceful. He's impressing me. So, like, the fact that I, he's, like, quote, just another swordsman, not an issue with oh, this yeah. guy. I mean, yeah. I just love how stocky he is. He's, like, a, he's a cube. He's a sphere. He's, he's not... You know, mm -hmm. his his shape is just very appealing to me. With his hat and his hair, just a big big ball. Like I would buy a, I, I would buy a plush <laughs> of this guy. Me too. And if, if you go to the next page, if you look at like the shot of like everyone's gathering around him, and like choppers running towards him, and look at his face, he's like, oh, ah, people, I my friends are here. It's me. <laughs> oh, that's a good face. <laughs> it is I a like good it. little face. Oh, sh uh, and there everyone's like, oh shit, it's one of the red scabbards. Oh, and then he does a big puke, because he's been holding 13, that puke in. 13 years of puke, and he just kills everyone with it's it. It's a fucking tidal wave. Kills everyone. That, you know, that's that's funny, but that's another badass thing, that he's like he's forced himself. He said before, like, he he was disgusted eating the, the poison fish. He thought he wanted to puke and die, but he was such a badass, and he was like, no, this was nothing compared to the unfulfilled dreams of my, my senpai, my sensei, whatever it was, my lord, right, uh, you know, Odin. Uh, so he just, he fucking, these samurai, like, remember that shit with the, I mean, obviously you do, like, on, uh, on Zo, like, the minks, who are all sworn to the Kozuki clan, for whatever reason, uh, they're just, like, so fucking loyal, they'll, like, all die instead of giving up, like, one fucking dude who's, like, one of the retainers of, like, Lord Odin or whatever, uh, strikes me as similar to that, that yeah. will is just so fucking strong. This guy it's, would just stay will, alive, whatever it it's took. The, it's the will of animals. It's like a loyal dog. <laughs> you can always trust yeah. the dog to be a good boy. Pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, but anyway, the here comes Elephant Boy. Uh, he's he's just like, uh, get the bullets ready, everybody. We'll shoot more of those poison bullets. Those I think they, they were called excitement bullets, those like poison things. Yeah, that, well, so the, the kanji, and... they said the kanji was both mm. excitement and plague. Oh, so okay. So both, okay. both at the same time. Mm, um, I see. But yeah, we get we get everybody's gathering together. People are noticing uh, Okiku mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Hyogoro, and and Hyogoro tells Raizo and Okiku to uh, to show them who they really are, mm -hmm. as as mm -hmm. in like members of the Red Scabbers, to get all these prisoners who otherwise would be on their side, who are mm -hmm. scared to fight against Kaido. We need to show them that they have something to believe in. Indeed. And so Raizo indeed. takes off his handkerchief. Uh, thereby completely changing his disguise and people suddenly know who he is. Because we couldn't tell before. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and <It doesn't. laughs> uh, Okiku puts on this funny demon mask and they all do the big epic pose. 
posed like a team because shit just got real. Poor, poor Chopper, though. He's not even included in the he, fucking he, group shot. You can see the back of his head and his fist behind uh, Oh, Kappa. you're right. He is there. Oh, so he's he's he... just fighting, facing the other way. Like, nobody gives okay. a shit about Chopper. Man, unfortunately. Oda, come on. Throw him a bone, goddammit. It, 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 they, they make a joke about it later. Where it's like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, hey, what about me? Nobody reacted to, to me being there. Oh, You're not very well chopper. known. Your bounty is literally 100 belly, which is one dollar, as I as I recall. God. So, die, that's so unfair. Sir. I really want chop. I mean, if this doesn't like lead into chopper being a very big player in this arc, um, he then I don't think he'll ever get his chance. Like I've said, this is this is the uh, Zoan arc. The only Strawhead member who has a Zoan is Chopper. He has the Rumble Balls. Those have. There's a ton you could do with that. If it doesn't happen this arc, it's never going to happen. I'm yeah. sure of it. I'm like, so I, certain. I, I, I so much wish that, like, whatever happens is, like, a god Usopp moment for Chopper. Yes, and that people, he needs one. People think that Chopper defeated Kaido or something. People that need might to be a least, little much to hope for, well, but... Not, he, he doesn't need to literally do it, but, like, the fact that yeah, he is, yeah. like, an animal man or maybe takes control of all the animals or something, like, that ooh, makes ooh, people, ooh. people around the world fear Chopper, and then suddenly his bounty it. goes up a lot. So Sure, sure. Um, uh, all the beast pirates have eaten, like, be beast smiles and beast devil fruits and whatnot, but what is the most dangerous animal of all? Man. And <laughs> what devil fruit did Chopper eat? The Hito Hito no Mi, literally the human human devil fruit. He is the top of the food chain, motherfucker. Truth. That's a fact. <laughs> It's gonna happen. Watch. <laughs> no, it's not. There's zero chance. Um, but that'd be cool. Chopper cucked forever. <laughs> the rumble balls. Come on, Oda. Do something with the fucking rumble balls. They're so I, interesting. Come it's, on. It's. It's. I mean, I can only assume. He's unique. He is a I can, unique Zoan uh, boy. I can yeah. only hope that um, Chopper being relevant is like the reason Chopper is being like kept under the radar in this arc, at least, is that he will become relevant later. Uh, with all this war going on, but like, uh, I don't know. I don't know how much of like the Chopper saying, "Hey, what about me?" is that that's the joke of Chopper forever. Yeah, I don't, I don't, know. I don't want it to be. It's never been the joke before. Now, at least I don't. I don't. Well, th there actually there was with this whole like bounty being so unbelievably low. I guess that is, to be fair, a joke on, like, they, they literally thought he was like the pet of the Straw Hats. That's why they gave him like a fifty cents bounty at first, yeah. um, despite him being, uh, you know, more of a badass than that. Ah, anyway, uh, we'll see. Th we'll this, see. This this uh, group shot is really cool. Very it um, is. It is. dynamic and aesthetic with all the, the big guys there. Fucking Kiku's but, looking like a badass there. Cool yeah. mask and shit. I like the mask. Looking good. And and and, and now Kiku is not how uh, Okiku is not how we should say it because she's not a girl anymore. Uh, uh, she, that is transphobic, my dude. She's a woman at heart, as she clearly uh, states on the page below. Oh, you bad person. Oh, Kiku's no. like, they're, everyone's like, oh, that mask. You know, they're, they're revealing their true selves. We know that mask. It's worn by the most beautiful swords man, they say misgendering her, in the Wano country, Kiku Nojo, the lingering snow, which is a cool name. And Luffy and Chopper, huh, you're a man? And she replies, I am a woman at heart. Uh, so pretty, pretty clear. She is. So first of all, I was right, hundred percent right. This is not surprising. I am a genius, but also it was yep. super obvious for a long time that uh, the hints it were was, there. I mean, the only thing that was like, like um, getting in the way of it being obvious was like mm -hmm. we weren't sure whether One Piece was the type of manga to have a trans character or anything of that nature. But it's sort of like handled mm -hmm. pretty like lightheartedly and like, oh, yeah, I'm just a woman at heart. And that's that seems like on brand. So, yeah. Well, first of all, let me do the let me do my little celebration. Uh, Kiko has a dick dance. 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 Yeah. Take it to give. What? What? I'm, dance, I'm, sir. I'm, <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm, I'm dancing. Okay, good. P I'm keep dancing. That up. <laughs> so, so, you know, I, I've heard people, I don't know, I, because, like, the trans conversation is a little bit heated these days, people, like, care about this, but, like, everybody, this is not a, a, a victory for civil rights, nor is it, like, some kind of uh, SJW propaganda. The, the, the trope that Kiku is, is one of the, like, th this, is, this is a traditional trap in anime. She's, like, a really hot-looking girl character turns out to actually be a man this is not it's not a negative thing it's not judgmental it's not anything but this is a very old trope in anime and K kiku is the example 
in One Piece. Like so far, you've had like Mister Two and all the all the Okamas. Well, were, like the... Mister Two is very clearly not supposed to look like a woman. I mean, you'd probably call him like. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. Like the the kind of gender fluidity that all the all the Okamas show. I, maybe that's I don't know if that's the right term or if they'd be like trans, or whatever. Fr- frankly, I don't care. I'm totally uninterested. Um, but like they were they were like a joke. Whereas Kiko here is like actually attractive and like absolutely would fuck. Um, you know, except hashtag not gay. But, um, uh, 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 point being, point being, like, she's the only one who's been, like, attractive in a traditionally feminine way in One Piece thus far. And, like, uh, yeah, that's cool. If you, if you think that she's representative of who you are or something, then okay, cool. But it is a very old trope. She is a traditional anime trap. That is the archetype that she absolutely fits. And, uh, that's, that's cool. But it's, it's neither a particularly new thing nor anything to get that excited about in my humble opinion but uh, I mean, I just like the way cool. I just like the way that it was just sort of like oh yeah yeah I'm, I'm I, I, you know oh you're a man like one panel was devoted to that revelation Th- this is yeah this is exactly how I've always seen it like throughout all anime uh, like I, this isn't an issue to be to feel very strongly about at all in my humble opinion like I don't know in Steins Gate there's a trap uh, you know looks like a girl pretty attractive says they're a boy it's the old uh, tri- tra- uh, archetype they say of uh, draw a girl, call it a boy, you know, something like that, which is pretty much what they do. Especially because in, in Steins Gate, it's funny. There's a there's a trap character, and then they just um, you you can uh, travel through time, and if you travel through time, that character looks exactly the same, but they just now are a girl as opposed to a boy, but they look exactly the same. Nothing else has changed, um, which is which oh, is that's funny and amusing. Self. I mean, I, I guess so. I guess so. Anyway, uh, glad I was correct. Uh, I think this is this is funny. I like Kiku. And you know what? I just got to say, my instincts, my first thing I said when I saw Kiku was, you know, it's pretty weird that Oda would draw a girl who's, like, a- attractive in a traditional feminine way who doesn't have huge tits. Like, that's kind of yeah, weird to me. I remember and that. And instantly, I was like, there's something up here. And I was 100% correct. When Oda, give, like, this girl has the traditional, like, Oda same face. Like of like a generic hot girl thing going on, and to not give her massive tits was an instant giveaway that uh, there was there was more going on here because Oda just loves drawing girls with tits and and would every time unless there's some important reason not to, uh, is my contention. But anyway, on yeah. to other things. They see Rizo. He's pretty cool. Oh, and they say that Rizo is uh, Rizo of the Mist, Fukuro Kuju's biggest rival as a ninja, which is that really tall head guy. I wonder if that guy... We haven't seen that guy do any ninja things, just administrative things, uh, you know, telling his ninja boys what to do. I wonder if that guy's gonna, you know, he's, do he's any cool like ninja things. He's like the Hokage of, of the village of the Wano. Yeah, that's that's true. That's actually true. Because people don't know, by the way, the, the Hokage from Naruto doesn't actually, like, rule the country. He is specifically, like, the leader of the ninja village, and there is a fire lord that the Hokage serves. So, uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty, pretty apt comparison. Um, and blah, blah, blah. They see Kawamatsu. Yeah. Oh, my God, he's scary. Sorry. And then they see Hyogoro. And, ooh, he's cool, too. Yeah, so it says here, strongest wrestler in the country. So Kawamatsu. Oh, yes. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. There you go. So and, of course, everyone knows Hyogoro. So they've big names, uh, three of the Red Skybers and Hyogoro the Flower with Luffy and some guy. They Actually, it's, this was good. They, they actually, they're like, who is Luffy Taro? Because they're in Wano, closed borders. Nobody knows what's going on in the outside world, despite Luffy being a pretty popular yeah. boy uh so that's cool consistent it's good so uh old maid says i i think that's his name is i this think so. playing out exactly like one of lord orochi's nonsensical rants i must report this to lord kaido at once mm. so but communications are down so we can't, so can't well this is the thing mm. i think old maid probably will find a way or either escape uh-huh. in order to uh, mm-hmm. to talk and once this information gets out that three of the red scabbards are just around, yeah. that's going to be big news for, big news. for Orochi. Big news. He's going to be shitting his pants t- three times as fast. Yeah, that, that's I, I, probably I, I, true. As far as I know, up until this point, the red scabbards have laid low enough that nobody knows that they're around anymore. Yeah, I don't think people even know that uh, that thief guy is Ashura Doji for the most part. I think they think it's just uh, whatever he's saying his name is. I, I forget. So, yeah, I, I agree. But, of course, here we've got Kiku at the end. just like, we cannot let that happen. We have to silence you. Looking very intimidating. Looking, looking pretty dope. Kiku's, Kiku's a badass. Um, 
Yes. So I, I don't know. I, I think that the current arc is we need to stop word from getting out. Will that work? Will that fail? We'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens um, on the next exciting episode of One Piece. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. Good this. chapter. Yeah, I, I had a good time. I like see it was nice seeing Kiku go like full badass mode because we've seen her do a couple of cool things. She hasn't actually done anything that impressive yet, but she looks intimidating and I'm excited the, the, the fact that they're like it's the most beautiful swordsman. Uh blah blah blah. Like it's like oh she's so she's known for being like a badass. So that's that's cool. I want to see more of that. Uh yeah, I've always just liked Kalamazi her because she was real tall. She was real Oh, big. she is. <laughs> uh good stuff. Good stuff. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll just pick I, it up next chapter. I mean, there's one mm. the aspect of like the the female male thing mm -hmm. is like in Japan it's not a big deal. A lot of things in Japan that are not a big deals are big deals in the West. Yeah, that's true. I wonder. I wonder how people re react to, um, I don't know, this reveal, the way it was handled. I assume people will be fine with it because I don't know of like a lot of overlap with One Piece fans and. And uh, the whatever other. Do you mean in Japan or in like the Western be? world? In the Western world, you know. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't think Japan will really give a shit because this is just like an archetype they deal with, and it's very common and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, the, the whole trans debate is like a thing. Really, I don't think anyone should give much of a shit uh, one way or another. Like, what's there to be mad about? It, like, oh, there's a person who fits the definition of trans. I should be mad for some reason. I, I don't know. Like this well, is this is so, if you know anything even, about anime, this is super common. So, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, but it's also like uh, the the way people react to it. Like mm -hmm. you said, trap like a million times, and I know there's a lot of people who like get really uppity about that specific word. Yeah, and how it's dangerous. I'm like, yeah, it's, geez. Th I find I that know. a very eye rolly. I mean, I, you know, there's been a lot of videos about it. I've listened to many of them. I don't like. I'm speaking specifically in the. Who, whose life am I endangering by using the word trap? I, people would argue I am endangering people. I, I've heard this, um, that, like, it's, uh, I don't know, man. It's just, a, it's just a word that was used in a certain context in anime for a long, long time. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm contributing. And it's not just a feel thing. Looking at the facts, I struggle to believe that much harm is being done by using a word Specifically in the context of anime characters. Like, I, I, you know, Digi talked about this in his podcast a little while ago. Like, if I were to go up to someone who is trans and, like, call them a trap, like, uh, perhaps that would be eliciting some negative thing. But more than anything, it would kind of just be, like, rude and a weird thing to do to a real person. But we're not talking about a real person. We're talking about an anime character. So I struggle to see the issue. Um, I, I suppose it would be that people think that, like, this will be applied to real people, and, you know, it, it's, like, indicating that, like, there's a deception, but, like, I will still, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying at all, it's, it's fine, there's nothing wrong with being trans, uh, if you're, if you're trans, so go for it, but I'm gonna keep using the word trap to refer to this very specific anime archetype, which is where the word comes from, uh, cause I just don't believe it's causing <laughs> many problems. Yeah, that's my I mean, position. I'm not really going to call a Kiku a trap going forward. I, th I think I may just default to calling her a she, just because uh, when she, the mask is off, she looks like a she, and she's yeah. a woman at heart, so, like, I'll just take that as face value, sure. Um, I mean, I guess if you're... If there, I and, suppose and, there are... Yeah, go on, go on. And the thing with, like, One Piece is that there's not a lot of romance in the show, and nobody was, like, fawning... It wasn't, like... Actually, I don't know whether Sanji met Kiku. Oh, you know um, what? That's actually something I wanted to bring up. Sanji did see Okiku. He thought she was really hot, uh, remember in Dressrosa when Sanji looked over at Violet and despite her doing a bunch of bad things to him, attacking him and whatnot, he was able to see into her heart and know that she was like a good person. He could like see into a woman's heart. Okay, there's a couple things. One, was Sanji able to see into Kiku's heart? Uh, okay, well, first of all, did Oda just drop that because it wasn't funny anymore? One, is that the possibility? Two, did he see into Kiku's heart and see that she does in fact have the soul of a woman? Is that what happened? Or three, did uh, uh, Sanji like look into her heart and like just not get it and like make a mistake? Like, and how would Sanji feel about this now, knowing that this person is uh, biologically male? What would be I mean, Sanji's the, reaction? The, the the most likely thing that would happen is that Sanji, when he meets Kiku again, mm -hmm. will get the realization or be told or you know just know uh, that it's a man, and then he'll be like, "Oh, my dreams shattered" or something like that. 
it's not a yeah. woman. Yeah. Like, that's um, the sort of thing Sanji would do. I don't it know, would be man. Very, it would be very, like, <laughs> super progressive if Sanji, like, could see the heart inside was a woman's heart. And then he just, and then he just uh, like, yeah. he respected her. And it he was sure just, would. Like, it would be like, a, like, you know, he gives her, a, her a, like, a nod. It's like, yeah, cool. I or mean. Something. Something, something, like, that we'd never expect from One Piece, but, you know. I nice refuse idea. to. Uh, I refuse to not make jokes about it because it is funny. Um, oh yeah, and no, I'm not you know about th- that. things like things of this nature. And like, let's not pretend that like being trans is like the the default state of human being. It's it's like worth you know paying some attention to. It's like oh well, that's that's unusual. Um, but like you know, I'm not I'm not judging the characters like good or bad. I, I suppose that like somebody reading this who's maybe like who's has like Ben Shapiro's mentality of like. No, no, no. Uh, uh, you're biologically male. No, no, no. You're male. You're male. Uh, everyone calling you female, like, that's bad. Like, you're just lying to yourselves. Like, that's fucked up. You shouldn't do that. I mean, uh, I just, who, who cares? <laughs> like, she looks female. She says she's female. Is it noteworthy that she's biologically male and almost assuredly has a penis? Like, sure. That's worth taking into consideration. Um, I think that was intended as well. Like, when Oda and Chopper learn that she's female, uh, or learn that she's she's biologically male. They don't say like that affects my judgment of you zero percent. Like yeah, it's a I mean, it's a noteworthy thing the, I mean, to be those aware are the of. Two, those are the two people who have the least interest in sex. Yeah, like, yeah, Chop- that's Chopper true. Doesn't care about naked ladies because he's not a human, and Indeed. Luffy Indeed. is oblivious, and he's just like, whoa, cool musk. I don't know. Like some people think that it's like bad to even like recognize that like gender exists. I think gender is a relatively useful. Oh yeah, like 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 a tent pole. It's not perfect or anything. I think there's I we mean, get some in, usage in, out of it. So, in One Piece, the only romance character is Sanji. So when Sanji learns, we will get yeah. uh, his reaction, <laughs> and it will most likely just be a comedic one, and then we'll move on. I, I think that, so. That will be and, you know. We'll I'm sure some as. people when it, 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 you know, depending on Sanji's reaction, he will inevitably learn this. I'm, I'm sure. Like one, he might be like horrified. Like if Sanji does a thing where he's like, like he's like, oh no, I'm sad and like heartbroken. Uh, that this person's male. I, I'm sure people could get mad that, like, well, that's fucked up. He should be just as into Kiku, uh, you know, because she's a woman or whatever. But I, I, I assume Sanji is, like, traditionally heterosexual. I don't know for sure that he's not. But it's always been Sanji's thing that he loves women and is well, not a big fan of men. So what the, about someone who kind of rides the line like Kiku? Yeah, I uh, mean, it is it is a new thing where a man... I mean, aside from Cavendish, who was sort of like, he was said to be the most beautiful man, but he's very clearly a man. Yeah, um, he's, a, he's a man for sure. Sa- Sanji seeing, like, Kiku mm-hmm. uh, is different from when he went on to the, the, the Kamabaka kingdom and mm-hmm. he walked up to the, you know, to the these right, beautiful right. ladies from the, from the back. He said, ah, oh, such beautiful hair. And then they turn around and they're ugly men. And it's like, like, let's oh, consider no, that. Sanji away. definitely, based on Sanji's reaction, I'm sure Sanji would be willing to, like, kick those people if they attacked him. And that, like, maybe those people, I, I don't know exactly how they feel, but those people might be, like, quote-unquote trans. I only say quote because I'm not actually sure, like, what those people are, what an Okama is in the technical definition or whatever. So, like, is that, if Sanji is striking them, is that him hitting a woman by his logic or by someone else's logic? Like, how does he feel about that? I oh he did actually he fought Mr. Two so we know he's willing to hit like a Mr. Two type Okama yeah, I mean, person so he's, he's a traditional boy Sanji I don't think he goes into yeah. like what people identify as it's just like if if you're a pretty woman I will not hit you he he, he actually he won't hit ugly women either like he wouldn't hit oh, um well, yeah I mean yeah. a gentlemanly thing. Yes, yes, it's a gentlemanly thing. It, people have always well, had that actually, issue with Sanji you know, that he's you know, like sexist. I think it's a gentlemanly thing because of the mm-hmm. fact that uh, women are like quote unquote weaker, and so Kiku could hold her yeah. own. She's like a super sword lady, man. Uh, um, so like I don't know, but I, I think, there's no I reason think for Sanji, Sanji to fight him. Her. I mean, uh, now now I'm getting all worked up. Should I <laughs> him? Her? Sanji is not oh, no. a complicated man. Sanji is a simple. I think if he just looked at Kiku. He'd be like, okay, she's hot. She's like a hot woman. He said this before. Like, she already fits the, the, the criteria for, like, Sanji not being willing to hit her. To then learn that she's a man, I think would basically paralyze Sanji's, like, decision-making process. Like, he wouldn't know what to do. He's like, she looks like a woman. She says wait, she's a woman. Wait, no, I got it. I got it. What? Yeah. Remember when Mr. Two touched mm-hmm. Nami's face, and then he turned into Nami, and then yes. Sanji immediately was like, he would oh, not it's kick. Nami. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just like, oh. Like, that's all it needs. It's just like, you could easily distract him. All Kiku would need to do, it, if true, they were to fight, very true. would be to mm -hmm. take the mask off and then show her beautiful face. And then Sanji would be like, oh, I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I think that inevitably some people will get mad. Because Sanji, I think, inevitably will be at least somewhat disappointed to learn that Kiku is not... Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, biologically whatever. female, and people will be mad. But I mean, eh, what can you? These things are complicated, man. We just gotta chill. We just gotta chill. That's how I feel. It's just a joke. But then again, I guess yeah. every joke has has issues embedded in it. So fair enough. Well, I mean, I'm gonna take the the fact that this is a Japanese thing drawn by Oda, who is not like that up to date on social justice because of you know if we remember yeah. Reverie when he made the Mexican tacos king. Uh, his like, he, prime concern is not uh, political correctness. He, that, he's, I think he's, that's true. He's a man of, of the time when it was just funny to make, like, funny, like, silly uh, stereotype jokes like that. So, yep. like, that's fine. Like, he's not evil. It, and if people get mad, I can understand. But, like, I'm not going to hold it against him. I, I, yeah, I feel the same. I feel the same. And you know what? Oda might be. He might be. Oh, my God. What if Oda like, finds trans people, like, odd. What if he has that horrible opinion? What if uh, he doesn't even know that it's possible? What if he just is dumb? <laughs> what if he's just a dumb bee? I don't know, man. I'm pretty, mu I'm pretty much... I just... I care so little about political issues and stuff like this. I just want to read my mangoes and, and giggle at the funny pictures and the laughter and whatnot. And I don't think I'm doing any harm by having the, the feelings I have about not being overly concerned about trans representation in specifically this chapter of One Piece or whatever. But hey, I mean, you know what? I heard people saying that like Oda is being a real ally right now. He's showing like a trans person pretty much at like the most favorable way that like, like everyone thought she was a girl, which is exactly what like I think most, you know, at least male to female, like trans people would want. Like, well, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much what they would want. They just... They look female, they present female. It's a surprise to everyone to learn that they have biological male components or whatever. Uh, so, cool. I mean, take that as a win if you're into that. That's that's fine by me. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. Um, okay, all right. that's it. <laughs> so, One Piece was on is on break. Uh, it was. So far, now, uh, but we are, uh, you know, a few days late, so uh, it makes it makes it so that you got content in between, and that's fine. That's cool. It was all part of the plan. It was of all course. part of the plan to be late. <laughs> we did it. You're welcome. Uh, but we'll be back next week, uh, probably, assuming that uh, that's what the they always say. Like one piece will be on break next week, and we'll resume in issue 34. I don't know what fucking issue we're on right now. Is next is this 33? Is next 34? Are they is like are we on 30? And so we're gonna skip like four chapters. I don't know what these volume numbers mean, and I'm pissed. Uh, uh, I assume <laughs> when one piece is on break, that doesn't mean Sh Shonen Jump is on break. Right, but there's like there's there's various weird weeks like Golden Week and like New Year's is like a time where they take off and I don't know when these fucking Japanese holidays are lined up. This is just always something I think about when we say like it'll be on break next week and we'll resume in some specific issue because <laughs> I bet there's gonna be at least one time that we see this exact same issue or exact same message. It'll be on break next week and we'll resume in weekly Shonen Jump issue like X. And actually, what that means is that like it'll be on break next week, but the week after that, there's like a there's a vacation of some kind, like it's Christmas week or whatever, and so actually the issue comes the next week. But we don't we don't know these things. Uh, anyway, that's it. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. Yeah. One day we will make a mistake and it'll be a tragedy, but we'll we'll hold together and we'll make it through. And hopefully those those German fucks over at the podcast don't steal all our thunder and all our money. Oh yeah, and... let's let's rant about that for a little for a few seconds here. Sure, sure. What, what do you got? Fuck? What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Poddy, you know, I, I, the podcast, you stole our name. You stole our idea. You must be killed. The, I'm here by a, a war. Uh, yeah, war. I think there's a war. I, I think we, just we, so we people... we got the allied powers on our you side. You guys probably I, all know I know this. a Russian. I know a Russian. We could do it. <laughs> you guys probably already know this, but if you don't, there is a channel on One Piece called... I think it's called The Podcast something, something like that. It is... Actually, you know what? There's there's a couple things. Because on the one 
it's got the same name. It's got the same name as us, but it, it's like German. So they probably were looking around. Maybe they didn't do any research. I don't think they deliberately copied us. But their icon no, is like No, they deliberately a, copied us. We need to destroy them. Th their icon is a vertical <laughs> split between, like, Luffy and Zoro. And yeah, that, our icon is, is a vertical split between you and me. It's like, well, that's a little odd. <laughs> that's yeah, a little you know, funny. That's that's the reason I think they, they at least know about us. Well, we know they know about us now because I mean, they've said not, they've been made aware. It's not the most um, uh, unique way to have a profile picture. but it's No, just, no, no, no. It's it's the two things that gets me. Like why both? I things? don't think they ripped us off. I I think it was a coincidence. Uh, but um, I think they said they were gonna change the name because they were alerted to us. They're they're bigger than us now, uh, which is fine. <laughs> That's cool. Oh no, that I mean they're definitely a different t different animal. They they yeah, do like yeah. the big uh, you know the thumbnails that have the big flashy mm -hmm. all of all over the stuff, and they just talk about specific topics rather than just the weekly chapter reviews so like yes, that makes yes, sense they do. If, yeah. if we if we were like uh you know more on top of things and like pushing this channel mm -hmm. uh all over the place this is both of our like third sorts of tier clickbait enterprise. content yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we could we could be up there but we suck guys that's, we suck. yeah that's, we need that's you, true. we need you to go to our patreon.com slash the podcast pirates we really do and, and by, so I'm just I'm just googling I google the podcast or rather I search on YouTube and I see us we're the top result oh it's called it's called podcast dash one piece podcast that's that's what theirs is called and so like I search I'm, I'm searching on best ever my, my account and I see blah 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 all our videos I don't actually see any of their videos as I scroll down. I just see like the name of their channel. Like if if I search for Podcast and their results came above mine, at that point I would be like, that's kind of fucked up. I mean, we were here like years before these guys showed up, and I mean, they're they literally are using the exact same name that we had that you came up with. And um, the heck, bros, the what heck. The fuck? The thing is, though, like, let's say we were really pissed and we wanted to do something about this. I think because they're German, there's nothing we can do. Like, even if we wanted to, like, sue them, I think we have no oh, ability to... we wouldn't go, like, I mean, it is... I'm just I'm just exploring the hypothetical here, okay. if we wanted to try I mean, to do something. I mean, I can, I, I can definitely entertain the idea that it was a coincidence. I mean, if we yeah, reached out yeah. to them and said, please change name, please... Yeah, we, we have not reached out to them at all, I mean, you know... But, like, if, if it came down to it... Mm -hmm. We wouldn't really need to change the name because there is still no English-speaking podcast show. It's not I like, mean, that, we're, that's it, true. like that's they're true. eating up our audience specifically. They are German and speak in German. That's true. You know, it raises the question. I wonder how people actually find our videos, really. They might, like, I don't know. They pro probably don't search The Podcast on YouTube and, like, you know, no. just f click on the thing. I'm, uh, I'm surprised this has any viewers that are new and just coming just for in. for interest. We have 5.3 thousand subs. They have 7.9 thousand subs, um, and they have 15 videos. We have 81 videos. But and yeah, I mean, if we wanted to do something about this, not that I don't I don't think I'm going to do anything. But like, <laughs> it'd be smart to probably talk to them sooner rather than later before their like brand gets too entrenched or whatever. But. I mean, I don't. I think I'm just gonna not really give a shit. I think it's fine. Our our branding gonna, is good. I'm gonna send them a an ultimatum. I'll send them a, a bomb a la, in the mail. I'll, I'll send them an ultimatum, a la um, that one uh, duck dodges in the 21st and a half century when they shoot an ultimatum and it it, it, it <laughs> just explodes in their face. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. I don't know. We we might regret this decision, but I think I'm not gonna do anything about it. <laughs> we'll see how it. Uh, how it works. I don't yeah, blame them. I mean, it's fine. I mean, I don't mind uh, people mentioning it to them if you go to them. I, I've seen like, people done that. Them. Yeah, certainly don't give them, like, a, a, a big hard grief. time or anything. Don't give them grief. It's fair to mention it. Like, that's, you know, whatever. But I, I'm not encouraging anybody to even reach out to these guys. Um, so there you go. There you go. That's that's a bit of news in the in the yeah, podcast verse. Hopefully we we'll, won't have to speak about it again. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that's it, everybody. Podcast, new chapter, in the can. Next week, we'll be back with more. Uh, going to try to be more timely. In my own defense, Gib was, like, away, so we had to delay things at least a little bit. Got a, got a couple of days away from us. Not that I'm blaming him, either. These things happen. No, no, no. It'll happen to me, too, at some point. I'm, I have no doubt. Um, but um, Podcast, for a million Podi years. Podiascord. Podiascord. Patreon.com slash Pirates. 
One dollar. Give us a dollar. You owe me a dollar, damn it. Uh, <laughs> to the Patreon. You don't owe me anything, but that'd be nice. And uh, give us more. Be a colored person. Be a hero. Non-colored is non-human, in my estimation. <laughs> uh, the whites are just the lowest form of life known to man. God, I hope they all die. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> give us your money and go to the Discord below. Join the conversation. Lots of people talk about One Piece. It's, it's pretty much the primo place to talk One Piece. When I was a young man... I was alone in my school. Nobody gave a fuck about One Piece. My brother did a little bit. He, he, he didn't know. He didn't. He hadn't read up. It was just me. I was alone. But now there's the whole Pod D Discord to talk to people anytime I want about One Piece. It's a dream come true, and it could be for you yeah. too if you join it. it. It really is a dream come true. When I was a child, this was a dream, and now it's real, which is pretty pretty great. It's pretty great. I'm glad I stuck with it. Um, all right, there you go. The Do all way, our things. I, yeah, I what's think up? I, it'd be really funny. To see mm -hmm. a supercut of all the times Nate has like uh, said like fuck the whites I hate whites <laughs> in, in all of the podcast uh, episodes where that happens. <laughs> Fucking crackers, am I right? <laughs> oh no, we're gonna get. Oh destroyed. no, we're gonna get digied. We're gonna get literally deleted gonna, from the internet. We're gonna get digleted. Oh fuck. Um, uh, Sam, double that. Put extra reverb. Uh, Sam is our fictional editor who I just came up with. Uh, literally paste that word throughout the podcast. That would be great. That would be great. Uh, okay, we'll see you next time, everybody. Uh, have a beautiful day and a wonderful life. Next chapter of Podcast, here we come, baby. Bye. Bye. -bye.